Good morning, good afternoon, good evening or good night. Wherever you are, uh, welcome. And I am here to help you to achieve your goals in 2024. And um, so welcome to the group and welcome to this live. It is that time of year where everybody is talking about um, achieving their goals and setting New Year's resolutions and all of those wonderful things. And I have spoken to a lot of people that say, "What when I ask them what what are your what are your goals for next year?" They say, "I want to be fluent in English." And while that is a fantastic goal, hello to those that are watching. By the way, thank you for thank you for joining me. Um, For those that um, answer that question, I say that's a very good long term goal. But what you need to do is the best way to achieve your goals is to set short goals and achievable goals. Now, when it comes, I'm going to give you an example. I set a, a goal for next year that I wanted to read 100 books in a year. That sounds really good. And I've seen a couple of uh, videos, TikToks, telling you how to do it. And and I just thought, oh, that's a really good idea because I love reading. And I thought, okay, I want to read 100 books in a year. Well, then I start to look at it and I started to think about why do I want to achieve? Why do I want to read 100 books in a year? What am I actually looking to achieve? What I'm looking to achieve is to stop watching rubbish on television and replace that time with reading so that I can expand my knowledge, so that I can improve my focus. um, And and I love reading. So reading is something that will help. It helps with your English. It helps with your vocabulary. Helps me with my vocabulary. So because depending on what you read, you learn new words, new phrases. Um, So but most importantly, I want to improve my focus. So that's my reason. Now, I have a book here. And it's quite a thick book and it's got almost 500 pages. I have another book here, which is much thinner. So am I trying to read a hundred books and if so am I going to try and cheat by finding as many short ones as I can find or am I going to choose the books that I want to read now I had a conversation about with a client about this very point now this client is actually Japanese and they very much have a different view on setting goals which I really liked and that's why I'm here today to share this view with you Set the goal. Fantastic. That's a big goal. 100 100 books in a year. Fantastic. Break it down into smaller goals. So how many books would you like to do in a month? And let's be even more specific. Maybe you could even break it down to pages or hours rather than books. Because I actually enjoy listening to audio books. And so I also read on my Kindle and I also read actual paperback books. So I have changed the way that I have viewed this. Yes, I my overall goal is I want to read 100 books in a year. But realistically, I want to spend an hour a day reading more if possible. So I've broken it down into something that I can manage, something that I will have the time to do and something that I can do consistently. And I'm going to keep you all up to date with this and I'll let you know what books I'm reading and uh, how I'm getting along. I've actually started already because I thought I'm not going to wait until the 1st of January. I'm going to start doing it now. And that's what I'm going to say to you about if you have English goals. I appreciate becoming fluent is an English goal. Absolutely. But being fluent is not a goal that you're going to achieve in a week or a month. You need it's a it's a consistent 
consistent action that you're going to take every day that will help you to achieve that goal. OK, and it's a selection of actions. If you just read books in English, hi to those that are joining. If you just read books in English, that will possibly help with your vocabulary, might help you with a, your grammar, but it won't help with your speaking skills. If you only listen, so if you say, OK, I'm going to listen to an audiobook or podcast for an hour every day, which is great, um, to improve my listening skills. Again, that will only help you with your listening skills. The whole thing about language is you need to do all the different areas. You need to do the listening, the reading, the writing and the speaking. You need to look at improving your vocabulary. You need to look at active and passive listening. There's lots of different areas. The most important thing is to improve your communication skills. That's the most important thing. But to do that, you have to incorporate all of the areas of English together. So come and join the 12 steps to fluent English. OK, it's you can absolutely join the free one or, or you can get the upgrade, which is only twenty seven dollars. But what it's going to give you is it's going to give you and I know it's busy at this time of year, but we start on Christmas Eve. If you start something now and make time to do it now, because a lot of people think, OK, we're really busy over Christmas. But when it comes to Christmas, but to Boxing Day and the 27th, 28th, there's not a lot to do. So you can. Absolutely do these. It's a challenge. Every day is a challenge. It's going to be incorporating email hacks, how to write emails. It's going to be incorporating vocabulary, some fun stuff, how to network. There's going to be lot, a, little, a little challenge to do every day for 12 days. That's all it is. 12 days. You can either do it two or three a day. You can do one every day. I'll be sending them out first thing in the morning. In fact, I'm going to diary to send them out about three in the morning, my time. So that should hopefully it should help all of you when you receive it. It should be your morning so you can actually sit down and do it. If you want to do it first thing in the morning, you can you, it will be there waiting for you. The idea is that you start to do a diverse selection of things within your English, things that are fun every day. If you can improve your business, your business English skills, your English skills in general, every single day, you will find fluency will follow. That's all you need to do. It's not difficult. What it is, is practice. OK, you need to look at preparation, but you need to be consistent. And this 12 days to fluent English was an idea I had to help you to start your new year off. So. If you sign up for the free one, you get a Facebook group to join in so you can chat to other people. You will get an email every single day. OK, every single day it will give you a new challenge. Then jump on into the group and share any questions you have. I will jump in and, and answer any questions, but share between yourselves. You are, you are a community of people looking to improve your English skills. So share, have a chat, share your results. Ask questions, maybe find people to network with. So that's the free version, which as with anything, you get as much out of it as you put in. So that's the free one. The VIP, which is only $27, you will get an intention setting session, which will be a live training session. There'll be two live training sessions within the 12 days that will be recorded within a next a VIP Facebook group. So if you don't hit the lives, you can always watch them back. And then there'll be a VIP party at the end where we will go through what you've learned, the skills you've improved upon, any questions and um, things like that. So. If you are serious about upgrading your English and you're short of money, go.
go for the free one. I'm still going to help you by answering any questions, but it's down to you to make the most of this. Okay, so send me, in fact, I'm going to add to this the link and you can register, either register for the free one or for the VIP the version. The VIP version, we're going to go through some live training sessions. We're going to include some idioms and phrasal verbs because I know they're very popular. And also um, <clears throat> every day when you get your video, sorry, when you get your email, you will get a video email which will give you more details on every, all of the challenges. Okay, so that's a VIP. But please feel free to just join in and start your English off as, as you should. If you want to improve your English, this is a fantastic start to the year because you're not waiting until the 1st of January. You're going to start on Christmas Eve. So for any spare time you find, in your day and I know that most of the most people are very very busy in the run up to Christmas then they have Christmas Day and then it all calms down so this would be a perfect time for you to spend some time with your English catch up if you if you're a bit delayed catch up post in the group any questions if you want clarification on pronunciation or anything for you VIPs you will get extra help obviously OK, so I'm just going to clarify when it comes to setting goals in 2024. What do you want to achieve and more importantly, why? So I'll take you back to my me reading 100 books in a, in a month, in a year, in a year. So why why do I want to do that? There's not I don't want to do it just to tick off 100 books. I want to learn new skills. I want to learn new information and I want to improve my focus. And that focus comes with reading. And so there are lots of different reasons why I'm why I would like to read. And 100 books is my overall goal. But I've battled it down now. I'm going to do an hour a day reading every day, no matter what. OK. Now, if you are looking to improve your English, consistency, like me with the, with the reading, consistency is the absolute key, but also doing a diverse selection of things. So just you can't just sit and read. If you want to improve your English skills, reading, writing, speaking, listening, communication is actually more important. It's more listening and speaking are the two key areas, but... If you don't know the vocabulary that you can use, it doesn't really help. You could be the best listener on the face of the planet. Or if you can only speak, but you find difficulty in listening to different people's accents, it makes communication really difficult because listening is like over half of communicating with someone else. Nonverbal communication is also really important. OK, so. 12 days, 12, sorry, 12 steps to fluent English this Christmas season. Start on Christmas Eve. I'm going to put the link below. Sign up. As I said, you've got the freebie or you've got the, the VIP, which is only $27. And they will be, well, the details are on the form anyway. I just need you to put, a, put in your email address so I can send you the emails and which one you want. That's all I need. OK, and then I will send you an email every day with a new challenge. OK, and then so you don't have to worry when it comes to consistency. A lot of people say, but I need to be consistent. But I need to do what consistently? And this is your answer. You just need to check your challenge for the day and do that. That's all you have to do. And as I said, if you're busy today, do two tomorrow. You will have the emails. You can keep them for as long as you like. The Facebook group, I'll keep open for a while. So to give everyone time to catch up. OK, but it's for 12 days, only 12 days. If you're serious about carrying on, I have launched a planner for 2024, which has a challenge every single week and a challenge every a monthly challenge and 54, it's 54 weeks next year just so you know, 54 weekly challenges. So if you're interested in that, 
absolutely just let me know and I can pop the link down. So with there's a challenge, there's challenges for every, it's like a calendar with challenges for every week and then a note section on the other side. So you can make a note of new words you, you get to know or tips or tricks, tricks that you discover that you really find useful. So there's all of that. So it will be an, an, a record of the whole year and your English and, and how much it's improved. By keeping a track of how much you're improving, this helps you to stay motivated. Because motivation is, a lot of people find it very difficult. We all find it difficult at times because there's no like law saying to stay motivated. But to stay motivated, the best way to stay motivated is to see an improvement because then you think, oh, I'm improving. I'm going to carry on. This is working. I'm going to carry on doing this. OK, so I see there's... Um, a few people watching so I don't know if you're still there Graziella nice name um, you need to speak listening and speaking are the two main um, the main areas of English that people find tricky because you have to combine the grammar and the vocabulary and everything together it is practice if you're interested I have a speaking course that is aimed at people who are just looking to improve their speaking skills so if you're interested in that just drop me a note and I will send you the details um, it's a it's a combination all of my courses are a combination of um, pre-recorded uh, uh, modules and live sessions because practicing live with feedback with with me feeding back your pronunciation and um, giving you options for the better better words and phrases to use that is how English should be taught in my mind and all of my students love it because they learn from the modules and then they come back to me and they're able to practice what they've learned so they can get hold of their skills and then practice practice is the key to all language it's like playing the piano you have to practice OK, if anyone's got any questions, please let me know um, and feel free if you come and watch this later, please put a hashtag replay so I can see who's who's watched it later. And any questions, please just drop them below in the comments. What I will do is I will put the link to the planner and also to the 12 steps to English fluency. Um, if you're interested, just just click on them and have a look. If you're interested in improving your language skills, you need to do something different from the things that you've already been doing. Because if you do the same thing that you've already or already been doing, you will end up with the same result. So you need to do something different, try something different, and then you will achieve what you're looking to achieve. Set that goal, take those steps, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.